have a look at a general knee assessment to rule out any differential diagnosis. So a key thing with the knee is we want to make sure we've got full extension. So I'm going to ask Harriet to contract her quads. We can see really nice quad contraction there. Any pain? No, no pain. And then we're also going to look for terminal knee extension. So can I press down and lift the heel up off the bed? So again, if I do it from here, you can see I can push down and I'm able to lift that heel up off the bed. Now, I'm also going to ask Harriet to bend the knee for me, heel to bottom as much as you can. How does that feel? Yeah. Good. And then we can apply a little bit of overpressure here. Any pain? No. no. Perfect. And then we're going to have a look at swelling. So I'm looking at the knee joint, thinking if there is a mechanism of injury that might indicate swelling. So I'm going to sweep up the middle of the knee here, so the medial aspect. And then I'm going to sweep down on the lateral aspect. And what I'm looking for is if there's any pocket of swelling on the inside of the knee. So again, if we do it from here, we push up on the medial aspect, push down, and I'd expect to see some effusion on the medial aspect if there is some swelling within the knee. Um, so the, the next thing we're going to look at is the ligaments, the ligament structures of the knee. So we've got the MCL, so we're going to bend the knee to about 20 degrees, 30 degrees. And that will take out the ACL. The ACL provides structural support when we test this when the leg is straight. So here, and I'm just going to bend, applying that pressure, nice strong ligament here. And I'm going to do the same from, for the lateral. I'm going to place the hand on the outside, bend the knee, and then push. Again, feel that nice strong L feel there. And there we have a nice strong ligament. Now, to test for the ACL, we do what we call anterior drawer test. So I'm going to get Harriet to relax your hamstrings as much as you can. And then we're just pulling that tibia forward, looking for that tibial translation. And we've got a nice strong ligament here. Now we can also assess this by doing the Lachman's test. So we're going to relax the knee. I'm going to place Harriet's knee on top of my knee. Place one hand underneath the calf here, one hand on the femur, and then I'm going to draw that tibia forward and I'm looking for a nice strong end feel and I can feel that ACL is nicely intact. So that there we can see we've got full flexion, full extension, good control of the quads, no swelling, all the ligaments nice and strong and that's what we would call a happy knee joint.